Hi, this is Jeff Holsinger with another video on how to operate your iX20. I've been making a series of videos that was intended to kind of bring everybody along little by little. So I'm going to make some assumptions that you've watched some of the previous videos because what we're going to talk about now is more advanced and I encourage everyone to go out and watch the previous videos before you get into this more advanced stuff and the best way to find the videos is just type in my name on YouTube and they usually appear on the top and you can scroll down and watch the series of videos especially the video that talks about backing up files to your SD card because that's really kind of important for what I'm going to show you today so let's get started Today we're going to talk about how to transfer files from your radio to your PC. And we're going to use the USB cord. There are several ways of doing it. You can do it uh, via Bluetooth, which I'll do a video on it later. But today we're just going to do the USB cord. So let me move the camera around because I'm just going to do this in one take. Nothing fancy. I'm just going to zoom in here to our radio and show you what you've got to do. First of all, I've got the USB cord plugged in to my radio and I've got the USB cord plugged into this is a Service Pro but it's a Windows 10 computer. Plug it all in, let the computer do the driver thing. It'll show in your right hand corner of your computer that it's setting up uh, drivers basically to get ready to talk to your iX20 radio you cannot talk to the iX20 radio simply by just plugging in the USB port that does not work there's a step that you've got to do to be able to communicate with the computer so let me show you that step very quickly desktop on the iX20 you want to take your finger and pull down okay then you're going to get this stuff on the menu and there's several pages I want to kind of like roll up very gently and you'll see right there it says USB charging this device okay I want to tap on that here you go pay close attention this is the the important part we want the USB to transfer files until you do this you're not talking to your computer you, you hear that tone that means that I'm now connected to the PC so let me bop over here and get on the PC and show you what we got so anyway that's just my desktop I'm gonna to go to my computer okay I got an icon down there for it get this pencil to bring it up and anyway as you can see there is my iX20 it looks like a drive because it is a drive so I wanna click on my iX20 and you'll see that there's two drives showing now there is the internal shared storage drive of the of the radio and there's the external SD card that we did a video on previous now I'm gonna to go to my internal drive click on it and it's gonna show all these folders caution don't be messing around deleting folders and stuff like that because you'll get your radio so it won't even work so use caution when you're doing this okay all my models that's on this radio are saved as a download because when we did the models in the radio we went and exported them to the disk previous video again and when it exported to the disk it downloaded it to the internal storage in the radio so when I go to download folder click on it you'll see these folders the and one that you're interested in is airware click on that now you see all these individual folders there those are my models that are currently on the radio so they are on the radio's internal storage if I would want to copy those models to my desktop and then email them to somebody I simply just do like just go to test one I click on that folder then I would say copy to and this is basic Windows stuff so I want to copy to the desktop loop and look up there 
there is the desktop folder so now I could do open an email and do whatever I wanted to and be able to to uh, click onto an attachment and uh, be able to send that file to somebody via email and then they can put it in their radio the same way once they get it in an email they can put it on their desktop for example and then they could drag it and copy it to the internal storage of the iX20 so let's back out of this and let's go somewhere else I want to show you something else so okay so SD card the SD card has about 50 models on it I don't have all 50 models put on to the internal storage of the radio because I'm not going to be using all 50 models I've just picked a few that I am currently using so the SD card had everything that was on a DX18 that I brought over to the iX20 but the iX20 I only picked the current models that I was interested in but let's go to our SD card so I'm going to double click on my SD card and look at there you'll see all these folders so those are all basically models that was on the DX18 that's currently on the micro SD card that's in the iX20 again the previous video shows you how to import the models from the external micro card to the internal memory of the iX20 so that you're able to load them and be able to use them so without going through a lot of details because I assume everybody kind of knows their way around Windows these are all files that are currently on my micro SD card so let's just back out and kind of end it there and then I'll do another video of uh, of what you can do looking at these two drives basically on your laptop computer or your desktop computer but anyway that's it and I just wanted to show you how to communicate with your iX20 to your PC the biggest problem that most guys run into that call me up on the phone is that they say they plugged in the USB port and nothing happens well the reason nothing happens is they skip this step right here so this step is very important see it says USB file for transfer if I back out of that it's going to default again to charge this device so it will not communicate to your computer as long as it's defaulted to charge this device it will only look like a drive on your PC once you put the check mark in the little transfer files so that's the most important step again caution when you're in there and you're looking at all them folders that's in your iX20 unless you know what you're doing don't start deleting stuff because if you delete the wrong thing the radio will no longer function thanks again hit me up on messenger if you got any questions